Hello and welcome back to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some blueberry waffles. So the first thing we're going to use is liquid egg whites. And I'm just going to use uh, 200 grams of this. go about 200 next thing up I'm gonna use coconut flour um, you can use white flour if you want to use white flour I just like the coconut flour um, and I'm gonna use 14 grams of this just under 60 calories it's about 56 calories uh, there's only two grams of fat in this five grams of fiber in this and three grams of protein Next up, I'll be using canned pumpkin, and it's not the pumpkin pie mix. Make sure you don't get the pumpkin pie mix. You want the regular canned pumpkin. Uh, one serving is only going to be 40 calories. It's 120 grams, and that's what I'll be using in this. Zero grams of fat in this one, uh, three grams of fiber in this, and one gram of protein. So just one serving. It's not that big of a deal. Next up, I'll be using baking soda, and you're just going to add four grams of the baking soda. And then with blueberries, I'm going to add about four ounces of blueberries. Or we'll see whatever I have left here. So it comes out to about 3.91 ounces, so just about four ounces of blueberries. And last up, what I'll be using is rule one. I'm just gonna be using a vanilla batter cake, butter cake. Um, you can use any kind of vanilla protein that you wanna use. This one is a whey protein isolate um, in one scoop. It's 29.3 grams, and it's only 110 calories per scoop. So I'm going to be using two scoops of this. That's all your ingredients. Get your whisk out and just whisk it all together.
It's gonna make you a decent amount of waffles, depending on what size you make them. It's gonna be very low in calorie and very high in protein. And really, you can make any type of waffles that you want to make, just depending on the flavor or protein mix that you want to do. And you can always add different types of fruit if you want to add different types of fruit. If you don't like the blueberries, don't add the blueberries. You don't have to. And then you're just going to get yourself a waffle maker. These things are fairly cheap. I just have a Black & Decker regular waffle maker. I mean, they're they're pretty cheap. You don't need to spend too much money on these things and they'll do the job. So I'm going to get this thing heated up, throw that on there, and start cooking up these waffles. Once you get the waffle maker started, make sure you do definitely hit it with some nonstick uh, cooking spray. Um, again, zero calories, but there is some calories in these things. So don't be heavy handed with them. You really gotta watch how much you really spray on that. You don't need to go crazy. Just enough. Then you're gonna pour your batter in. start cooking <clears throat> don't go too crazy because it will expand in there with the baking soda and you don't want it to overflow and get all over the place so I suggest going a little bit smaller um, just so you don't get that overflow but it's to your preference so I'm gonna go ahead and let this cook up cook up a few more come back um, share the macros and everything with you so you see I already got one came out not too bad um, when you put it in there I only need about, I don't know, two to three minutes. I wouldn't go no longer than four, five, depending on how crispy you really want them, but two to three minutes for each waffle should do you well. Um, so let me make the rest of these up and I'll come back and share the macros. So there you go. Four pretty decent sized waffles. I mean, that's takes up the whole plate. Four big sized waffles, not bad at all. Again, I'm gonna hit it with some, I can't believe it's not butter. Um, zero calories, gives it a little bit of a butter flavor. Add that on there. So if you went and made this whole thing the way I made it, it'd come out to 489 calories, 36.8 grams of carbs, only 2.3 grams of fat, and a whopping 76.3 grams of protein so tons of protein in this to help keep you satisfied satiated for the day tons of waffles to eat under 500 calories you're also going to get 10.5 grams of fiber in this to help keep you stay full longer so definitely a great breakfast in the morning to eat it's going to help keep, uh, keep you full get that protein in there get your fiber in there so and then I'll add um, some sugar-free uh, maple syrup. So make sure that you're using sugar-free, fat-free um, when to add this on this. And I'm probably going to only add an extra 30, 40 calories with the syrup adding on top of that. So thank you guys very much for watching my videos. If you like this types of videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, hit the bell button to be notified of any new videos that come out. And you guys have a great day.